So if you are thinking about moving to the Cypress area, the number one spot that you have to check out is Bridgeland. It's a gorgeous community and I'm gonna hop right into it and give you the pros and the cons, the good and the bad, the ugly of living out here in the Cypress area. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Aaron Lathan. I'm a real estate consultant here in the greater city of Houston. And so if you need to know anything about where to eat, sleep, live, play, hit me up morning, noon or night, I'm your guy. Hit me up with any of your questions about where you want to live, where you want to be. Like I said, hit me up morning, noon, or night. I'm your guy. So all of my info is going to be in the bio, on the screen, some ways to get in touch with me. I apologize in advance for the long guy. It looks like it is it is lawn day out here at Bridgeland. But it's really a gorgeous community, and I want to just share some of what my favorite things are about being in this community and some of the things that my clients have said that have moved to this community. So first things first the the number one thing that they love when they moved out here is that they think it's a great location and I, I happen to agree with them right so but that, that's a caveat to whether or not I think it's actually a great location overall if your life is on the west side of the world or that northwest side of the world it's the absolute perfect place to be if you you know if your life and your job is within that Katy to uh, some of those surrounding kind of more currently developing areas around Cyprus then this is like a great location you're very close to 299 you're very close to 99 you're very close to 6 you're close to all of the the, the the basically the traffic interstate systems that you would need to get to anywhere in the city of Cyprus and on the way all the way down to Houston right so it's really just a great location to be far enough away from the city to feel like you're not in the hustle and bustle of just being in and a part of the city of Houston but you know you're you're close enough to where you don't feel like you're again not in Houston right so it's kind of the perfect compromise you can get to so many things so quickly here on this side of the world now if your life is in the woodlands or if your life is in you know let's say Pearland or your life is in Manville this may not be the best place for you to be but if your if your lifestyle lends you to be on the west side of the world or the northwest side of the greater Houston area then this is a perfect location for you uh, the next thing shopping so right I don't know if you're familiar with the Cypress area but you have the uh, the outlet mall out here um, it's a premium outlet mall me and my wife hit that all the time not too far from you you have Katie Mills down in Katie so again kind of coming in line with being in such a great location to be so close to both Cyprus and Katie, right? This is like the perfect location. A couple minutes down the road and you're at Katie Mills if you wanna change the pace. You can go to the boardwalk at Town Lake. There's just so much stuff that you can do location-wise, shopping and entertainment-wise around you to make this an outstanding location if you're looking in the greater Cyprus area. Bridgeland is one of my, my favorite places to be and it's just a gorgeous thing. Like. And the next point of, of, of kind of why I really love it so much is that it just has so much land. It has so many trails. It has so many lakes and walking trails and paths and bike paths and all that stuff. You got pools and amenities. You got gyms and stuff behind me, right? There's just so much stuff that you can really do here that is just once you're here, you never really have to leave. And I just really love that about it. Some of the stats on it, it's like 11,000 acres of overall land that's going to be developed. And it's like a thousand acres of tree of, of trees, trails, lakes, ponds, all of the above. There's just so much entertainment, especially if you're an outdoor person and you like to have that feeling of being, you know, a one with nature and one with earth. There's just so much that you can do here um, where you never have to leave. And this is one of the reasons that when I get to this place, and I get to this side of the world and I'm here touring. Whenever one of my clients say, hey, I'm ready to go see something in Bridgeland, I'm super excited because I know that even while I'm waiting for them, I'll get a chance to enjoy some of the things that I don't get in the city. You know, I bought in the Independence Heights area and we have to go to the bayou or to one of the parks to kind of get this same feel or this same vibe and it's not this same feel and it's not this same vibe. So it's definitely something that you're, you're gonna wanna take advantage of and if you are a person that loves the outdoors and loves being outside and loves having that oneness with nature and feeling secure and safe and having gated communities and all of that stuff Bridgeland is definitely going to be a place for you really quick if you're enjoying the content hit that like button hit the subscribe button i'm doing these kind of videos every week giving you the good the bad the ugly of what it's like to live in the surrounding suburbs stay tuned see you on the other side
All right, the next thing, and I kind of just touched on this just naturally, right? The safety rating. I don't know if you can see it, but we got a couple, we got a couple women walking their kids. We got a couple women walking their dogs in the background. I've seen a couple couples just kind of getting in their exercise for the day. You know, I've seen ages and backgrounds of all of all types out here, and it's just a great safety rating. So point number four is that the safety rating for out here in this area is outstanding. You're gonna feel safe, you're gonna feel secure, you're gonna feel a certain piece about being here and calling this place home, right? That you wouldn't necessarily get in the city, right? So it's definitely a place that I consider. I know when me and my wife have toured here just to kind of get some footage or I've toured here with other clients, it's, it's definitely one of those things that every time I come here, I fall in love again with being out here. But unfortunately, it's just not in my price range at this point in time, right? So it's, it's definitely a goal of mine to get out here. Um, I love it one day we'll get out here um but the the overall safety is something that i don't think i'll ever feel in the city of houston like i would out here so if you're if you're looking for somewhere where you can feel luxury you can feel peace and quiet you can feel like you have done the right things in your life to be able to afford this kind of lifestyle bridgeland is definitely the place to go and the the number one reason why a lot of people are looking out here and if you're going to come out here and buy a four or five hundred thousand dollar four bedroom with a flex space that has a backyard um in a gated community around lakes and trails is because you have great school systems out here the sci fair school system is 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 outstanding is top rated one of the best ones in the country right so if you're out here that's another thing that you don't have to worry about finding some kind of private school you know this is a master plan community so you're going to have schools and things and amenities on site that you wouldn't have to worry about if you live somewhere else maybe just another part of cypress that isn't in a, a quote unquote master plan community that just wasn't developed for that so you're going to have elementary middle school and high school here they have some uh some primrose school here i've seen some montessori's here when i was riding around as well so there's definitely a, 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 a emphasis on uh on higher education here really quick if you're enjoying the content hit that like button smash that like button hit the subscribe button see you on the other side um and it's just really highly rated so you can't go wrong if you have kids and you want to be somewhere that you're paying that high tax dollar but you know that your kids are going to get an outstanding education the side fair isd is one of the best ones in the country and you can't go wrong with that now that's some of the pros about living in the Bridgeland area in Cypress, Texas, but not any, and nowhere is perfect. And no matter how much I love this place, there are some things about this place that that will never just resonate right with me. Um, and that's just that's just real estate in general. The first thing is is that the HOAs are a little bit strict. Now I have a client that's been out here um, a little over a year now, and they've just kind of they've complained a lot about being written up for what they would consider little petty things like having their car parked a certain way you know having their trash can out for a certain amount of time and it looks like the lawn guys are following me so i'm gonna walk in the opposite direction of them um just little petty things that you know they they feel like they've been written up for and been called out for that they didn't necessarily like and so now i personally can't speak to that as someone that doesn't live here um but my clients have made the comment that, you know, they didn't necessarily like how strict the HOA was out here. And now, typically the type of person that's gonna wanna be out here and that's willing to pay the high taxes and willing to be in a situation or, or a neighborhood or an area like this, that's gonna come with a certain personality type, right? And so you have to kind of deal with that when you move to the suburbs, right? That's, the, that's what you need to expect being in a suburb place in Texas. Um, and so this place is no different, you know, it's a gorgeous community and so You know, I would expect that they would want to keep the values as high as they possibly can and the HOA is, is the, the measure in which Texas Does that and you know, I some people hate HOAs. I'm not the hugest fan, but as someone in real estate I understand that having neighbors around my development that one has like a shipping container in their front yard right now right that kind of thing wouldn't fly in a gorgeous beautiful community like this they'd be written up until they damn near moved right but in a place that doesn't have the zoning or doesn't have the Z deed restrictions like me and my wife bought that kind of thing can happen it is just an eyesore that i'm forced to look at every day you wouldn't have to worry about that in a community like this right so hoas are strict 
but that's something that you just kind of have to expect when you are moving to a suburb in the greater Houston area. The next kind is that if you, like I said, if you have a lifestyle that would lend you to be in the center of the city, you know, let's say Baytown, down south towards Pearland, Manville, any of those places, if you have a lifestyle that is going to take you south or on the opposite side of where you are in Cyprus, that drive is going to suck. That drive is going to suck. You know, from, for me to get here, it was about 40 minutes with no traffic. That's, that's me even speeding a little bit. And it took me about 40 minutes to get here from the center of the city. And so if you are not really ready to have that kind of commute, um, then it might be a tough, it might be a tough ride for you. If you plan on having a lifestyle that's not really on the west or the northwest south, the northwest side of the, the greater city of Houston and surrounding suburbs, right? So it's something that you definitely want to take into consideration and think about before you commit to being out here, no matter how gorgeous it is. If your lifestyle, if your lifestyle isn't one that's gonna lend you to stay in this area and you're gonna be a little bit more south or a little bit more, you know, uh, east, um, then I would definitely say you may wanna consider going and finding another community out closer to where your lifestyle is going to lend because traffic can be terrible if you're still here i'm assuming that you're liking the content hit that like button hit that subscribe button i'm doing these kind of videos every week giving you the good the bad the ugly of what it's like to live in the surrounding suburbs and the city of houston see you on the other side the next thing that is a con is that to me this is probably the biggest con is that it's super expensive right you can be fooled you know you can go and see some of the highway signs that they have along the interstates here and it'll be like Bridgeland now open starting in the mid 250s the, the times where it was 250,000 to live in Bridgeland are long gone the entry point is right around four to five hundred thousand right now um, and that's like not like even a super huge house that's like maybe 2,000 square feet depending on the builder and depending on the amenities that you're gonna get but it's not a super huge house now so the price is kind of priced like I said it's even priced me out um, and I had a pretty high approval rating at one point in time, right? So it's, this isn't somewhere that your average person would be able to just pop up in and go by, unlike other places in the, the greater city of Houston and surrounding suburbs. Now, we understand that because the, the overall single family home sales price has increased you know, historically for the last two years here and it's hovering around 400,000. So it's about in line with what the average single family home sale is for the greater city of Houston and surrounding suburbs, but it's still, it's still priced a little bit too high for the average consumer. So that's a really big con for me. So if you wanna have the great schools, you wanna have the, the beautiful location, the amenities, it's gonna come at a price point that the average person really can't afford. And the last, but not least, this is the biggest, the biggest doozy for me. And that is in conjunction with the high price cost or the high barrier of entry, the taxes for living out here are in the upper three. So to put that in perspective, you have a $400,000 house as the entry price of living out here in the greater Cypress Bridgeland area. You have a $400,000 house. You have a tax rate that is almost 4%. So on a $400,000 house with a tax rate that's almost 4%, you are gonna pay $1,000 in, at least $1,000 in tax a month. That's prior to principal and interest. That's prior to insurance. You are gonna have a several thousand dollar bill without putting a large chunk of change down, right? So that's probably the hugest thing that comes with it. Now, your taxes are paying for something that is outstandingly gorgeous. And so you understand where the money is going, you understand that there's schools, you understand that there's amenities, you understand that there's so much infrastructure and things for your kids and your family to feel safe, secure, and, and loved and protected and, and, and educated, right? And, and your wellness, you get so many things and so many amenities that come with that, but the taxes out here right now are outrageous. They're going on close to 4%. So that's the the video for the day there's some pros i really love it this is probably one of my favorite suburbs it's, it's top one or two with with some of my suburbs out there right now that i would personally consider leaving the city for but some of those cons right now kind of keep me from making that decision and being able to just up and jump to live out here and afford brand new so what do you think how did i do how was the video today if you have any questions about where to eat sleep live play 
hit me up morning, noon, or night. I'm your guy. If you have any questions about more about the Bridgeland community or Cypress in general, hit me up. All of my links are going to be in the bio or somewhere on the screen right now. I look forward to hearing from you, and I hope you have an amazing day.